Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. In this video, we take the glue gunner to the extreme. It got buffed in the last update, so it slows Zoh my gods even more now. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to go as late as I can go, and I'm joined with Partyface, who is a super awesome creator. You guys can check him out, their link will be below. And yeah, this should just be kind of a fun challenge, so let's get into it. Okay, so we started this challenge off by using a triple stall super monkey strategy. So we had our super monkey, we had a glue gunner, an ice, and a ninja, and we were basically going to have two sacrifices to the super monkey, being the super monkey itself and the ice tower, along with three stalls to physically make the Zomai gods go as slow as they could possibly go. If you really, really wanted to go to the latest possible round, you could do some funky stuff with tower blindness, but we kind of wanted to go as late as possible naturally without doing that. So yeah, here we go. We have all this, these ninjas, up and we just started by max egoing because you really really need to get up a lot of money late game we're also in the mode bonanza with fire which basically gives us four times the amount of money every time we send a balloon for ego so we're getting these massive heaps of money every single round here and yeah we were kind of just messing around we were on a voice call this whole entire time i might show some footage of just us being goofballs but yeah i don't know it was a good challenge it was, it was a good thing make sure you sub to party face he's a really good friend of mine and yeah, you can see the the little glue gunner spam. I don't know, it was just kind of fun. The glue gunner got buffed, which is just awesome. I don't know, I really, really want to try to go as late as possible now that the glue gunner got buffed and really just like do stuff with it. So yeah, I'll probably do a little time forward thing ahead and go forward, but you can see me pre-placing my super monkeys right here and really starting to get up my max temples. Party face, wait, party face waits a little bit to get up all of his, but yeah, I'm gonna be doing my max temples and you guys can use this as a reference if you guys want to get up max temples on your own. Anyways, I'll fast forward a couple 20 rounds, 30 rounds. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Future me who is editing this video can decide where we go. All right. Okay, future me here. Maybe I'll cut back to past me for a second. So it's this whole time travel extravaganza. But yeah, I just got up all my max temples. Party face is still taking a little bit while to get up his, but that's a-okay. We don't need up full max temples yet. And you can see, if we don't use a lot of our powers here, these oh my gods are moving fast. They're really, really booking it. And it's only round 50. Round 99, they're gonna move a whole lot faster, right? So the biggest thing about late game is just to stall the balloons. You really, really want to stall it, and then have the super monkey, which is our main damage, do the amount, maximum amount of damage possible. Possible. And the reason we're getting these sacrifices here is it might not seem like the little blade effect from the super monkey or the little ice effect actually does that much, and that's true, it doesn't. But every time you sacrifice something new to the temple, so if you sacrifice an ice monkey or a glue gunner to the temple, then you are going to get plus one damage from the main attack of the temple, right? So the little glue that fires out of the temple will do so little as an attack on itself because the temple can practically insta kill ceramics anyway. Um, but it itself will do uh, increase the super monkey damage plus one. The only effects on the temple that the effect itself really has damage is the super monkey blade ability and the super monkey mortar ability or bomb ability, which is this big explosion that does a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, we're just getting up our temples here, getting up as many as we can. It takes a little while to fit because sometimes when you do it, I'll cut to a clip right now of party face going, Oh no, I suck. Nice. Yeah, I found that kind of funny, but um, yeah, okay, okay, that happened a couple times, um, so that was a little bit annoying, but it's all right, you know, we're just going late, and I just, look at the beauty of this, we, we basically, so what you want to do if you're going to try to go late game here, is get up all your max temples, you could probably look up a max temple chart online of where to go, or just pause this video at a certain point and kind of see where all my temples are, then you're going to want to get up at least like five or six ninja stall abilities, you technically only need four, though if you don't want to continuously stall every 15 seconds, and you want to be a little bit better about it, then you can get up like a couple more, in case you make a couple mistakes. Um, you also want to get up a lot of ice abilities. You kind of want to stack the Zomai gods on top of each other here. So ice stall, um, the first few, let the back half of Zomai gods that come every round go on top of the first few and then use another ice stall. That's kind of what I like to do on these later rounds. Um, and yeah, you're going to want to get up a couple glue gunner abilities spaced around the track. The glue gunner fires fast enough that you really don't need to use many of the abilities themselves, but it's still nice to have the ability rather than just getting up a glue hose. So yeah, we're just going really late here. Round 69, nice number by the way, ooh yeah. But we were going for um, 69696 eco, that was, that was my little eco girl right there. 
So we're just kind of max egoing at this point, getting up our temples. We have up a lot of tech terrors and all the empty space. And if you can't fit up a tech terror, sometimes I would just get up a balloon jitsu or whatever. It won't make that much difference. But hey, every little bit counts. Every little monkey counts. And yeah, I don't know. It's so fun just to go late game. And yeah, and I don't know. With BTD battles, you can do it with other people and stuff on a call. So this is just like a super fun little thing to do. Um, yeah, I'll probably fast forward and tell something more exciting. But okay, uh... Future me, take it away. Okay, thank you, past me. Round 92 update. I don't know why round 92 is special, but it is, alright? So, yeah, it's, it's it's round 92. I mean, it's round 92. Okay, so th we're starting to, like, struggle bus here. The game's starting to get laggy. There's just so much stuff going on at once. Partyface starts to use a couple of his range boosts here just because he's really kind of, like, it's really, it's starting to push, right? And our goal was to get to round 100, right? We really wanted to get there. Um, I think I might have one more temple up than party face, or it was just a thing where if one person starts ahead, they're going to continue to remain ahead. Because if I pop everything first, I'm going to have a head start, I guess, on popping the next Zoe My Gods that come out. So I'm always going to be staying ahead. And that's one thing you want to do for late game. If you have to use an early boost so that you're always staying ahead and you're always popping things first, you use that early boost to do it. My eco number is also fresh. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Um, but look at this. I don't know. It's so beautiful. Just looking at all the projectiles going. It's not as laggy when we are actually in the game, but when you're in Battles TV, it gets really, really laggy sometimes. And sorry for not uploading or streaming as much recently, by the way, as well. I haven't really been doing it, I guess, as much as I liked, because I've been hitting, a, like, a mini little motivation wall. I don't know, it's just, yeah, a little mini motivation wall. But, yeah, Party Face is crying here. We don't think we're going to make it to round 100. It's round 97, and the stuff is really starting to push. But we're really going to try. Um, we're going to boost and just use everything. All our exploding pineapples, all our damage boosts, all our powers, everything, just to try to defend on round 99. If I pop all the Zomai Gods here first before he can pop them, or before they might leak on his side here, I just slowed it down a little bit. If I can pop all the Zomai Gods on my side before they leak down on his side, then round 100 will start and we'll still make it. So that was our goal here. And yeah, look at this. There's just so much. It doesn't get better than this. And the Zomai Gods are moving so slowly right here. Just even though they're on round 99, right? Think about how fast, like these are moving slower than a normal Zomai oh my god. And they're just going to speed up, speed up. If we had zero slows here, they would be moving as fast as like a normal pink balloon would. Maybe even faster, right? Um, but wow, look at that. I know, it's so cool. I really want to do late game and battles too, and we have even more stuff, and we'll take like all the good parts of late game and BTD battles, and late game and BTD battles too, and just kind of, er, and late game and BTD 6, and just kind of combine them together, right? But yeah. Also, okay, this is random, but there's going to be a glue gunner paragon in BTD 6. Hopefully, eventually, they'll start kind of releasing more paragons. They've already released the dart monkey and the boomerang monkey, and a paragon is like a tier 6 tower, which is just crazy. We don't even have tier 5 towers yet in BTD battles, but they might make a BTD 6 paragon, and I really, really want the BTD... Um, or the BTD Battles Paragon Monkey to uh, slow down Bad Balloon. So it actually has like a use in BTD 6, you know? It can like really just insta slow maybe everything under than Bad Balloon and slow maybe by 10% Bad Balloons themselves and be the only thing that can actually stall a Bad Balloon. I think that would be freaking awesome. But yeah. Anyways, we're using our exploding pineapples here, all our powers everything up the wazoo these exploding pineapples are very very broken they do one damage to everything so it's grouped popping power you know i mean if you haven't got exploding pineapples what are you doing i'm joking but actually when you first start out beats the bottles you want beats the battles then you want to go and you want to use your exploding pineapples or you want to get them first so you can get the lightning power lightning is for sure the best power to get early game um, super useful, can defend your round 13 rushes, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, for uh, powers, I guess I can say you want to go for lightning if you're going the track power route, slowly inch towards damage boost if you're going the tower power route. Um, you might also want to get improved tower boost though, because it's better than range boost, and then go for damage boost. Um, if you're going the balloon power route, go to super, balloon boost, and jam packed. I would maybe go for jam packed first, actually. If you're going for the Sabotage Power Root, go for Knockout and eventually Team Tower Stun. If you are going for the 
eco power route um really just depends but don't go path top path maybe go for improved eco boost first and then bottom path towards like genetically enhanced crops but yeah look at this i don't know why he's sending a green and then some reds i think he's trying to exactly get to forty-two thousand eco here but i don't know look at that it's so close we're gonna just keep going see how late we can go here and yeah this might be a bit of a longer video but it should be good look at this though i don't know it's so cool Normally, I wouldn't use the um, 2-4 glue, but let me kind of explain the update here. So the 4-2 glue, the green glue, the acid gunner, the Zomai gods are so strong that that glue gunner is going to do virtually nothing to them. It's not going to do, like, it's going to do such a small percent of damage that it's not going to be worth it. We're not using the glue gunner for the damage, right? We're using it to stall the balloons. And in the last update, the 2-4 and the 2-3 glue gunner now slow Moab class balloons and above by 40 45% instead of by 30%, a 15% increase. And that seems small, but that's actually really significant. And if you pair it with the ice stall ability and the ninja stall ability, you can really slow these oh my gods here and really get some epic late game action in. So yeah, I don't know. It's kind of fun to find things to talk about when I'm playing these games. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll just let future me take it away from later until we die which is kind of sad but yeah okay future me here so uh maybe before future me comes yes um yeah go away future me i was just thinking that um i was gonna do a new series and the new series is gonna be something like can i beat bhd battles with only two towers no fourth no clans no powers yeah, I don't know, I'll just do like some ridiculously hard things. There's so many challenge videos out there that they're not hard challenges, right? They're really easy challenges to do, or they're not that significant. So do something that's actually going to be really hard and could go for multiple games as kind of a series. And I don't know, maybe that could help my channel out. Um, Trippy Pepper, for instance, he did a series called Hacker vs. Hacker, and that really exploded his channel. So if you could find some unique, original idea for a series and really help out with your channel, then who knows, maybe I'll grow some. So we'll see what happens. I don't know, look at this, it's crazy. I think... We're about to die anyway. Maybe three more minutes. Okay, I'll just skip ahead three more minutes. Now you can take it away, future me. All right. Okay, future me here. So party face is about to die here, but we can just look at this. Round 110. That's crazy. That's so late. Um, this was a really long game, but it was a it was a long fun game. And if you ever have the time to do an epic late game and someone to do it with, I kind of advise it. See how late you can go. See if you can break this. Party face actually his game ends up lagging out, but he was pretty sure that he was gonna lose anyway. And that will conclude this video. So hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. I will see you guys next time. And if you have any suggestions or anything, you can comment them down below. All right. Peace. Okay.